Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Today, I got a video for you that's really going to make a lot of people happy. For those of you that want to sidechain directly in Machine, there's a plugin called Sidekick 5 from Twisted Lemon that really works well. It's cheap and it's easy to set up. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set it up inside of Machine. Basically, what I got is a really basic, you know, just a kick pattern and then a, a single note string line from Reactor. So this is what it sounds like without sidechain. So of course I want that kick to sidechain that that string line and I just want to do something really basic that didn't have a lot of modulations you can hear it in action. So the setup is simple as you can see I have the side kick loaded on my kick channel. And for the channel that you want to use to send to your side chain or the channel you want to use to to activate the side chaining, you really don't have to do anything. You just load this plugin on that effects channel and you don't even have to turn it on you can see right here it says instance one there's actually 16 instances that you can use within this system I'm gonna just leave it on number one because that's the only one I have set up right now so this is all I have to do because I know I want to use my kick to side chain something else so I don't need to turn the power on here because it's automatically gonna send this audio out on bus one so what I want to do is go over to my reactor channel you can see I got the side kick loaded there and here what I want to do you can see I got it off right now, but what I want to do is turn it on. So now when I turn it on, you can see the active instances. And right now there's only two because I got this one on Reactor and I got the one on my kick drum. And, and watch, as soon as I start playing it, you'll actually see the data. You'll see it start flickering in, in time with the, the kick drum indicating the data that's on that channel. So basically now all you got to do is click which bus you want to use to sidechain this input. Like I said, I could have multiple instances running, but right now I just got one. So I'm going to just click one and it's going to start sidechaining this, this string sample. It's that simple. And of course you can go in. And you can start messing with the attack, you can mess with the release. And there's there's something else that it, that's really cool that it does is if you don't want to sidechain, you can actually key it. So I can make the actual string sample or the string line play every time my kick drum hits. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna mess with some of the settings just to kind of show you what it does. So in case you were wondering, I'm, I'm adjusting how much ducking is going on just by simply dragging this right here. And if I drag it up, it's going to change from ducking or side chaining to keen. So that's what I'm about to do next. It's really that simple. And it's also like, actually, let me go in and show you some of the um, basic, the filtering and stuff. But it's really just that simple. Like I said, it's easy to set up and it doesn't really matter um, where you have it at inside a machine. Like I could put it on any of these these modules and it's just going to pick it up from wherever it's coming from. So it doesn't have to go before or after. It's just you just put it in a chain and it picks up whatever is coming through the other instances. So and you can use multiple instances. So let's say you want to side chain a pad or a string or a synth line and you want to side chain it with multiple drum, multiple kick drums or, you know, a kick and a snare or whatever you want to do. You can actually just click multiple instances and it'll it'll all affect it so now I'm gonna just mess with it a little bit more and kind of show you what the the filter does and stuff but that's pretty much it really straightforward this thing works really really well it is 64 bit as well as 32 bits so yes it's, it's a really cool plugin
Yeah, so you get the idea, man. This thing, it works really well, sounds good, easy to set up, easy to route, and it's a really, really affordable product. It's like 48 bucks. So you go to the T-Lemon website, it's 48 bucks. You can see right there, 48 USD. It's Windows and Mac, 64-bit, 32-bit. So I know people are going to go crazy with it. Like I said, it's easy to route and manipulate. But I just wanted to show it to you, make sure you understood that it actually is side-chaining. It is routing the audio, and it is working inside a machine pretty much flawlessly. So definitely check it out. Go over there to T Lemon's website and let them know St. Joe sent you machinetutorials.com and all the machine tutorial members, we worked out a special deal. You'll get a 30% discount inside of the membership. There's a special link for you on the deals page. So all the MT fam, you know we had to hook you up with this one. So let me know what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, and make sure everybody that's using machine knows about this plugin. And please make sure you support the independent developers that are doing stuff like this, man, because I know this is something that a lot of people have been asking for for a long time. So it's really simple to use. Everybody can use it and you can just start experimenting. So let me know what y'all do. I want to see some videos. All right. This is St. Joe, machinetutorials.com. I'll see y'all later. Peace.